Hey everybody, uh, this tutorial is about 3D text. So it's the last shape in your, sh your last tool in your shapes tool set. And I've already done three of them to show you a difference between them. The first one is two dimensional, it's flat, and it has no interior area of those letters. It's just the perimeter, the outside lines of those letters. The second one is also two dimensional, it's flat, but it has an enclosed area inside of those letters. And the third one is three dimensional because it has a length and a width as well as a height, an extrusion from the back to the front of the letter. How far forward is it coming? Let's do that together. That's 3D text. So go to your shapes tool set where you would find a rectangle or circle and choose the last tool. It looks like the letter A. It's 3D text. You get a window like this, go ahead and type in the word, the text that you would like to make. I'm gonna do the word together because hey, here we are. And I can also select and go back all the way back with the arrow key, select this word and I can control C, copy it. So I could just do it again and paste it right into place the next time. Your text will have the choice of font. You can change the font here if you click there. And you can change, in some cases, the style of that font. Like, is it italic leaning? Is it uh, bold and thick? Or is it regular? Height means how, what distance from the bottom of that letter to the top of the letter is it going to be? I'm choosing five feet because I just want to make it, you know, easy to see at this relative distance from that center. Deselect text filled because that closes in the area inside the letters and deselect text extrusion because that gives it that three-dimensional quality. Let's just do one that's open and it looks like just the outside lines of the letters first. Click OK and then move it around and you'll see that it's totally open on the inside of these letters. Now if you touch an area that is vertical like the edge of these other letters that I did, it's going to pop it up in the air because it's relative to that face. But if you're down on the ground, looking down on the ground, it'll be flat like this. Go ahead and stick that in place. There's your open word. Do it again. Go back to 3D text. Let's do another one. And this time, let's close in the area of those letters. Now, since I copied that word the first time, I can go Control V and just paste that word in here. Still at five feet. This time, click text filled, and we're going to fill the letters. OK. And there you go. Now those letters are filled. They're closed. The area inside of them. Now do it a third time. Control V paste the word. Height is still five feet, but this time choose text extrusion. And extrusion is like one of those Play-Doh factories when you're a kid. It's like you put that in there, you squeeze it out, and it comes out in whatever shape you put on the front of that tube. So it's how far from the back to the front of the letter you want it to be. How extruded is it? I just chose one foot relative to five feet, so it has some thickness to it. Okay, put that in place. Cool. There you go. And those are three different types of three of text. Uh, two of them are not actually three-dimensional. So even with the 3D text tool, you can make two-dimensional lettering. Now, here's a part of this that is just great. See how it comes in wrapped? They all are wrapped. If you take the select tool and you select one of these, it reveals a blue box around it and the whole thing turns blue. The whole thing is selected. That's a protective wrapper around your 3D text. And with that protective wrapper, you can do this. Haha. -ha. Go to the move tool, which is this tool right down here. It looks like four arrows. When you use the move tool on anything that's wrapped or grouped, you can actually do two things. You can not only move it, but you can rotate it. So if I grab this anywhere, I can move it around the environment. Pay attention to where you are. In fact, I can hold on to that and change my orbit, come down lower and lift it up in the air on blue axis. There you go. But if you wanted to flip it up in the air, look for these little plus symbols with the move tool and you see little plus symbols on the side. I can actually grab one of those. That's the rotate tool and I can rotate this up in the air. That is so cool. And this lets you put things in any position that you want. In fact, I can take this not totally vertical or horizontal. I can make it kind of diagonal by choosing an off angle here. 
like that. It's really fun. 